is Jennifer Smith. I'm the clinical manager here at the hospice house. In hospice, we average about 70 patients. Most of them are in the community, but we have a full house here. Everybody today, so far so good, they're still sleeping. Today's gonna be a busy day. This afternoon, we have an admission that's coming in a little bit, so we have to get ready for them. Morning, how are you doing today? We make breakfast to order, we can make lunch to order and dinner as well. We always have fresh fruit around. Whatever somebody's preference is, we want to make sure that we take care of their requests. My name is Bernadette Ward. I'm the VP of Clinical Operations for Norwell VNA and Hospice. This is one of our volunteers we're so grateful for. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Right. So patient in 208 had a really rough night starting to transition, needed to change the medications. We had to call Dr. Andrews about today. If the symptoms get worse, we may have to, I'll talk to Lisa about possibly doing continuous care. See if we need That's to do a great that. idea, Jen. We are here to provide care, personal care, medical care, clinical oversight, but still in an environment that is so warm and welcoming. Can I get you anything? No, thanks. I'm all set. When Mum started to decline, she asked us to bring her here to see, to visit, and have a meeting. We met Maureen, and she gave us a tour. It's private, and it's calm. And yet we have, you know, really just whistle and somebody's here kind of feeling. It's just, mm -hmm. it's amazing. We just call it mom's house. Hey, so we're here on the second floor at the Pat Roach Hospice Home. We have 12 rooms and we have two floors. I'm rounding currently with the staff up here to review some of the activities of the current residents. We review things like the changes that may have occurred, any changes in medication, anything we need to contact the team about. I learned about the Pat Roach Hospice House when my mom was looking for a final resting place and we brought her here and this is where she had her hospice care. Tours are scheduled throughout the week and into the weekend. Uh, as a matter of fact, um, right now we are actually touring two sisters who are walk-ins in consideration of their loved ones. During the tour, we, have, we provide extensive information. We talk about the sort of care that's provided here in the facility. Uh, Jen, this is additional information, excuse me, of a resident that's coming in later than anticipated. Okay, so Enos would be coming later to deliver an O2 concentrator for this patient. Um, and then Apothecary will also be coming to deliver the comfort pack. Right, exactly. So I think we have everything else that we're all set with this patient. Okay, fabulous. We always welcome walk-in tours. I live in Ann Arbor, Michigan. I live in Florida. We looked at the website and thought, let's just stop by and take a tour. First of all, it's just in a spectacular, rural, beautiful neighborhood. Turkey Hill, and we actually saw a turkey coming up the hill. The grounds look amazing, and the, and the porches. It feels less clinical and uh, just focused on hospice, and so that's nice. It, it looks like it would meet his desire to have a peaceful place, and it very accommodating to our needs as we come and go and care for him, and, and less uh, worry for us that he's being well cared for when we're not able to be with him. Beside a flowing stream in a tree. We read together, oh, and true. that is a great satisfaction. Let others pile up wealth in yellow gold or in vast acreage. We're a therapy dog team here today to visit with the staff, the residents, and whoever else we may meet. How's it going today? Fine, thank you. Volunteers definitely are a crucial aspect. You know, visit with the patients and provide companionship. Hi. I'm heading upstairs right now. I have a patient that's transitioning. Hi, I'm Sarah Abbott, and I'm one of the co-chairs of The 12. 
Hi there, I'm Molly Smith and I'm the other co-chair for the 12. We have 48 tables sold already and we expect over 400 people under the tent on a beautiful spring evening. What's so great here is that you can have the things you want. You can enjoy what you like. That's true. It's just past seven o'clock. The shifts are changing right now. The, we are giving resident reports with the nursing staff. The dinner service has just concluded and our new resident has just arrived. So it's very busy time at the hospice house right now. We are providing excellent care in an environment that allows families to be families and not caregivers and with the highest level of medical attention. I think that that really sums up our days here.